We arrived in Athens in three separate groups. George and Yaz, Frank and Manoj and Jyoti flew from South Africa via Dubai. Thabit and Nawal joined a few days later, flying from Turkey. And Mama was in Athens all along. Before Thabit and Nawal joined us, we spent some time around the city centre. We saw the changing of the guard in front of the parliament building. The guards themselves were kept in check. We joined a hop-on, hop-off tour of the city. We caught a good aerial view of the market. And we walked around the old part of the city, the Plaka. The first of many coffee stops. Plaka at night. Arch of Hadrian. Leaning posts for the passengers waiting for the bus. The next day, George, Frank and Manoj took a walk to the harbour where a battleship was on display. A church on board the ship. Sleeping quarters. Triremes date from the 7th century BC. A reconstructed trireme, which took three years to build, was on display. Another coffee stop. Day 5 was road trip day. On the first day of the road trip, we departed from Palio Faliro. We went west to ancient Corinth, south to Mycenae, visited the theatre of Epidaurus, saw the Lion of Bavaria, and spent the night in Nafplion. In the background is our vehicle for the next few days. That's our driver at the back, Costa. We crossed the Corinth Bridge and visited the ancient Corinth ruins. Rocks with distinctive Corinthian style decorations. We went on to the Mycenae archeological site. The main entrance has the Lion Gate. Two lionesses flank a central column. We visited the museum. We continued to Epidaurus, where we visited the theatre. The theatre has exceptional acoustics, which we tested. You can imagine the front seats once had backrests. We found some cats. Some more Corinthian architecture this time in the museum, other sculptures in the museum, some other artwork, some trees. On the way to the Lion of Bavaria, the monument, built in 1841, was carved into the rock in memory of Bavarian soldiers, overlooking the Nafplion harbour. We saw an abandoned hotel that has the most amazing location. On a number of occasions, we saw wind turbines on the mountains above, some cactus flowers with fruit. Wi-Fi hotspots were a big deal. Generally free, they were our way of staying connected. Marble streets in Nafplion. It was dark and Nawal dropped something in a cannon and just had to go on in after it. On the second day of the road trip, we stopped at Sparta before spending the night in Olympia. In Sparta, we saw a statue of King Leonidas. We went on to the archaeological site of Mistras. We had some great views all around. At the archaeological site, we visited a church and a palace that's being reconstructed.
an interesting statue close to our hotel. We had some drinks at a pub owned by one of George's friends. Before he took us all out for supper, it was a feast. Road trip day three. We explored Olympia before heading north to Ioannina. We visited a museum where we saw a one-winged sphinx. There were two walls of statues from the Temple of Zeus. We went onto the ruins of Olympia Gymnasium. Some cats. And the nearby stadium. Everyone's an athlete. George waved. Never a dull moment in the bus. We crossed over the Rio Anterior Bridge. It's the world's longest fully suspended cable bridge. We had some dessert after supper that evening. The sugar was almost too much to handle. Day four of the road trip. We explored Iwanina, visited Metsovo towards the east, and spent a second night in Ioannina. We visited the Perima Caves. The caves extend five kilometers underground, but have been explored fully only up to one kilometer. We visited the nearby historical sites. Muskets. Mosques. Church artifacts. Ancient manuscripts. Some jewelry and a workshop. Lunch. That's George. After lunch, Mama took a short boat trip by herself to Ioannina Island in Lake Ioannina. Around Ioannina Island. Inside Ioannina Museum, there were many ornate weapons on display. Metsovo was very pretty at night. Supper in Metsovo. Oh. Road trip day five. We passed through Metsovo again, visited an archaeological site, and spent the night in Platamona. We got a chance to see Metsovo during the day. Inside a museum in Metsovo. Inside another museum. Yep, that is snow. We really felt the cold. We visited the royal graves of Agai, unearthed recently in 1977. The site contains the tomb of Philip II, father of Alexander the Great, who was killed in 336 BC. Lots of jewellery and artefacts were found in the tombs. The entrance to one of the tombs. George and Frank. That's us. On the way to Platamona, we visited a monastery. I have no idea. Thabit found a chair and George looked concerned. We passed by a colourful cemetery with lots of flowers. Platamona is a town by the sea. And we stayed at one of the two hotels owned by another of George's friends. It was a very fancy hotel.
Road trip day six. We traveled west from Platamona. Stopped at a church in Tempe. Visited Meteora. And stayed overnight in Calabaca. We explored a bit of the bay the next morning. That's George. And Frank. The view from Platamona Castle. Inside the castle. Chavdas in the mist. Frank shoveling leaves. In Tempe, a suspension bridge took us to the church of St. Paraskevi, which is built into the rock face. There is fresh drinking water at the end. There's that hand. Meteora was one of the highlights of the trip. We saw these amazing monasteries built on the rocks. We found some great views of the city. Thabit found a friend. It was cold. That's our driver Costa and George in the background. Some more fantastic architecture. The buildings merged with the rock. At supper. We must really have been hungry. Frank found a friend. Frank planking against a door. Road trip day seven was the last day of our road trip. We traveled from Calabaca south all the way back to Palio Faliro. We saw some more amazing construction around Calabaca. Those are inhabited caves in the mountain. A multi-story building built in a cave. It can be difficult to tell where the mountain ends and where the building begins. To honor St. George, believers hang scarves near a cave's entrance. We visited one of the monasteries. Mama took the lift. The ladies had to wear long skirts, and the views were amazing. Thabit and Nawal found a mountain. They didn't get very far. Another cat. Thabit and more cats. Another monastery built on a rock. Snow on the mountains. Thermopylae is the site of the battle made famous by the movie 300. Not quite the hot gates. This was a hot gate at the end of a dam formed by a hot water spring. King Leonidas. Not so scary. Road trip over and our holiday was coming to an end. We spent the morning at the factory outlet warehouse store in Athens, after which Nawal and Thabit left for Cape Town. Yaz, George and Frank visited the Temple of Poseidon. Manoj and Jyoti saw a bit of Athens. And Frank got scrubbed by some exfoliating fish. There's that wave! The next day was Acropolis Day. We first saw the Theatre of Herod Atticus, which is on the southwest slope of the Acropolis. Built in the year 161, it is still used as a venue for modern day events. Athens looks like a sea of buildings. We then walked up towards the Acropolis. The Acropolis contains the remains of several ancient buildings. The Pandrosian is a small temple to the north. The Erechtheion is another temple to the north. Six sculpted females support the roof of the south porch. The Parthenon is the most famous building in the Acropolis. Construction started about 460 BC. 
there is extensive restoration in progress. The advantage of going in winter is that we didn't need to fight through any crowds. This is the east end of the Parthenon. On the way down, we saw the theatre of Dionysus. Dionysus is the god of wine and fertility. The structure dates back to the 4th century BC. We visited the Acropolis Museum afterwards. We walked through some gardens and visited the Panathenaic Stadium. It's the only stadium built entirely out of marble. There are those hands. We followed the tour. and entered an exhibit that had all the previous Olympic torches on display. Rio 2016. We took a drive up to view more of the city. Lots of buildings. Lots of buildings. And sunset. Day 14, we visited the National Archaeological Museum and saw references to many of the places we encountered on our road trip. These items were excavated from Mycenae. That's the site with the Lion Gate. A statue of Zeus rescued from the sea about 460 BC. A horse and jockey from about 140 BC. Gold goblets. and supper at a local eatery. On day 15, Manoj and Jyoti headed back to Cape Town. George and Frank visited a military museum. They saw guns, and guns, and medals, and guns, and bullets, and more guns. Then Yaz joined them to visit the very impressive Stavros Niakos Foundation Cultural Center. Walls of shelves. A theater. And some modern art. The building has fantastic architecture. And that's our holiday. I hope you enjoyed Greece. We did.